Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, Mr. Gaming Counselor Jeff, hit it. That's right. We're in the counselor's office. We're talking some Destiny Two. Specifically, we're talking about one of the most historical moments in Destiny's history that will never be forgotten. Something that truly shook foundation of the game to its core and turned the community upside down. That's the crafting. Uh, I'm no, I'm not gonna move my webcam. <laughs> you see most of the, you literally see the emblem right there. But yes, we're getting an emblem to show and shout out the crafting. And this video is, we're going to go over what we learned, right? Because we did learn something very important through the chaos that was the crafting. And chaos for the mostly the Bungie, you know, developers. We had a great time, right? As the community, we had a fantastic time. Now, is this video meant to dog on Bungie? Is it meant to just, is it, Mr. Game of you're always criticizing Bungie. Why you do that? Why you do that? Why? Why you do that? Well, okay, okay. Before the the Golem Bungie Bomb Fondlers, yes, that you guys have come out in full force in past videos. Yes, my precious. Yes, we must fondle balls. We must fondle the Bungie Balls. Yes, they can never do wrong. Yes, my precious. That's what some some of these like degens that try to argue some of my videos sound like in my head. Like I, that, I mean, even then their their text. I've got to do a video about some of the stupidity of the Destiny Two community. But my God, no, we're not we're not we're not messing with Bungie right now. Okay, we're, you can put your golem pitch forth sound. No punchy. There's no punchy. No punchy. Okay, we can let the boss go. It's our boss. The boss. Yes, it is our boss. Precious. Yes, 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 yes. It's okay. Go Gollum, go back home. Go back home. Okay, go. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna just call, start calling them Gollum Ball Fundlers because that's what they are. My precious. Yes. I'm sorry. This is not how I want to start the video off. We're talking about the crafting, and we're just talking about... We learned something very important um, that you just can't ignore. And you're curious. What did we learn? We learned that the community isn't about challenge. I mean, we like challenges, right? We like challenges. But I think it's very obvious from this weekend. In fact... We're going to go over some data points to really kind of support my opinion and some just facts. I mean, there's just facts, right? When you have statistics, there's facts in there. You have data, there's facts. And the fact is, majority of the community would rather have fun than make the game overly difficult. Now, I like challenges. I do solo. Like, I've soloed. In fact, let's just, let's just for the funsies, right? Let's go to the funsies. Let's do raid report. Because something that was a challenge, but was kind of fun. And it was kind of goofy and silly, you know, because it's also RNG. Let's go, Mr. Gaming. Answer there. As you can see, I did cro the Soto, solo crota clear. And I've done flawlesses, ch challenge day one, challenges day one, week one, whatever. Flawless. Like, you know, I participate. I've also done... We can look at rate dungeon report and look at some of the dungeons I've done. Like, and I'm only doing this because I know there's going to be people that, are, as I'm speaking, they're gonna, what do you know? Oh my God. <laughs> like, they're going to want you to give your credentials, and I'm giving you my resume. Uh, so, people out there that want the golems out there who want to come out and you, not for, not for Bungie, but for what I'm about to make a point for. See, Day ones. I've got a bunch of day ones and then solo flawlesses. Like, right, look at that. Week one, obviously, not all of them are day ones. But just because I could be bothered. But I do have solo flawlesses, right? Except for Zero and Whisper. Unfortunately, that's when Destiny was dying and I have wanted nothing to do with it. 
So here you go, right? I've I've done I've done things. I've participated. I've done the hard difficulties of the game. But there is an active part of the community that was so enraged by the crafting. There's this small little pocket of people. I don't know what their problem is. Just a pocket of people who absolutely hated the crafting. They don't enjoy fun. And that's a big thing that I think people lose in the big scheme of why we play video games, right? There were so many people whining and complaining on Twitter. Like, it's buried now. Like, I can't, I tried looking for it. I crafting and finding emblems. That's like pretty much all it is. And the only person, I don't even know if like I have like save points, Raiders and Shambles. Okay, I do have a couple. I do have a couple. There he is. This is a, this was, I saved a couple because this is important. Players who base their entire personalities off of Rage Report are in shambles this weekend. Three trio duo clears on all raids. Was tired of how bad eruption game mode, so I went on. Oh, that's something else. But yeah, I mean, that's it. They made this point because people were just like, oh my god, people are doing master raids. People are doing solo dungeons. My clears. No, are the what? They're doing master easy. They're doing flawless raids. Oh my god, my raid report. Oh, what? Look at my rate, my dungeon report. All these are, I do these legit. And now they mean nothing because little Tony over there had his little, his little laser gun and he went and one shot the boss. Oh, no, 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 Bungie. You have to reset, reset the button. God, Bungie, if you don't, if you don't reset, roll back the servers, I'm going to quit the game because the integrity, the integrity. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, listen, I watch Twitter and Reddit, and my God, the amount of people. This co this tweet is not just to, uh... oh, we'll get to that in a minute. That's not, that's not, not this one. Yeah, drag it over here. Play the personalities. It's not just raid reports. It's dungeons and even trials and crucible. Like, there's a pocket of people who are so saturated with the game has to be over has to be overly challenging or if the game is not is too easy that and um i don't stand out because i have to be number one and i have to be elite then it's a bad game listen we can all agree that Roof Nightmares is a bad day one in situation. It was just a bad raid, right? It was too easy. A lot of people got it. And that that is a very, very specific situation where day ones are like the once in the year or twice a year. Who knows anymore in the future? Where it's, it's the hardest PvE activity. Outside of that, we've got Grandmasters, right? And people are complaining about Grandmasters now. Um... Uh, Oh, there's there's too easy. We knew blah, 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 blah. and we'll get to that in a minute because there's there I got I love like ar argue the by block why people are stupid. So here's another tweet. It was by a cool guy. Many are upset. I get it. I was at first, but look, once Bungie said go and have fun with it, it is what it is. Something like this hap happened like three other times in a year. I would try to have fun with it. You should. R rare, weird thing we have going on this weekend. Many are upset about it. I get it. I was at first. I don't understand why we're getting upset. Bungie has made it very clear that if it's a glitch in the game, it's free game. They do not ban. And so many people were like, report him, report him, report him. He's taking advantage of a glitch. Those people have their minds scrambled because that's not that's not how that other games do that and this is one thing i give bungie you know a rare w applaud to bungie right let's give them some some applause where they need it 
They're one of the rare few developers that does not punish the player for their own mistakes. Like, this is a big, huge mistake by Bungie. This is their game. And instead of punishing the wide community, they said, you know what? Screw it. Let's have fun. And they had fun. I guarantee there... You cannot tell me there wasn't a single developer who wasn't at work that was also playing. Like, you know, when they got home, they're like, you know what? I've got to try this. <laughs> we got. I've got to go home and try it, man. This is what my buddy said to me also. I was having fun at first, but getting annoyed at how much of this I'm seeing now. But it's one weekend that we will more than likely never see happen again. Might as well enjoy the opportunity to its fullest and make a fun, funny memory. Exactly this. Exactly! People just so entitled to, I need my way or it's the highway. Like, bro, get over yourself. And it's such a small niche of people like, overall, the community itself was on board. Don't believe me? Let's look at some statistics, okay? This proof, and I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about it, okay? Here we have the Destiny. Right now, there's 40k people playing. I mean, it's it's about 10 o'clock right now. It's, it's a Sunday. People are probably going to bed. Like, I will after this video. To, for, for work, right? You know, we've we've got in a 24-hour peak, 50k. That's not that's nothing impressive right that's just a general but let's look at over here at august so this is when the season released august 21st season of the witch released there's always bigger numbers right it starts off hot see uh, as you can see we, there was a negative loss in the last 30 days octo obviously we have some average players peak players right then we come over here this is very important around this point Thursday and Friday. Why is this important? Because people are on getting prepped, getting ready for the release of Crota day one. So, yes, this is a returning raid. It is nostalgic. This is going to be big numbers. Big, big numbers, right? This is where the peak came from, right here. And then you can see it's tapering off. It's dying. It's dying. It's going up. And it... Whoa! Oh, what is going on here? Whoa, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, and it drops. And look, it's just, it's, it's just downhill. All this, just look how generic all this is. This is how it is normally throughout a season, throughout the entire season, right? So what is this? Let's say, let's take... A normal piece around 80k, right? 80k is kind of like the average. I'm seeing average 80. But we jump up 20k players are hopping on Saturday, Friday, a little bit of Sunday's 10k, and then it drops Monday. Why? Why? Why is this a thing? Why 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 did suddenly people because this is the weekend of the crafting? August, like September, look, September, 10K people gained, or, tw you know, 20%. Big boost, big boost. That's 20K players more. It's not, we have the release, of, this is the high of a release of a season. This is the high of a day one raid. And then this is the high of the, the crafting. 20K people, like, listen, it dipped off. We're back up 20k. 20k people came back on to play. And it wasn't because of trials. G G GTFO out of that, okay? GTFO. It's th there's been trials all throughout this, right? And most people wanted the new uh, trials grenade launcher, which wasn't this weekend. This data clearly shows us, very clearly shows you, that people got on to play the crafting. Why? Because it was fun. The start of the season is always fun because it's new content. Day ones are always fun because it's the hardest difficulty in the game. And then you just see a general, this is all basic what a season looks like, right? This is it. This is, this is the basic t number for Destiny. But then you have this, right? This is the basic, this is the basic average here. You have double that on this weekend. It's because it was fun.
Destiny, most majority of the Destiny community, a good chunk of it, even the ones that were already playing, participated, want to enjoy the power fantasy. And that's the, the theme of the, the video, right? That's what the Crafty showed us. If you took, people don't want a Destiny 2 launch where everything's balanced and everyone's weak. They want power. They want strength. They don't care. You know who cares too much about the micromanaging of we're too strong? The one percenters. The people who want to get paid for streaming. The people who get paid for carries. And yes, carries do, whether it's trials or raids or GMs, yes, they do get parried. In fact, they do get they do get paid for carrying. It's just indirect, right? You know, if they're on Twitch, they get people sub, they do sub carries. People sub to them in hope of getting carried. So they're indirectly paying doing paid carries. Let's let's not let beat around the bush, right? I know there's golems coming out for the precious Twitchers. No, no, you can't say that about my streamer. No, it was precious. Must protect the precious at all costs. No. No, the balls. <laughs> no, no, listen, listen, data shows, right? People got on, why? If it was, if people like, people really hated the crafting and were really annoyed, they would not play. But people got on more so than any of the days so far. Look at this. And we've had cha raid challenges. We have Grandmaster GMs come out. We have trials. Like there's so many different reasons for people to come back and play. But look at it. Look at the numbers. All through September, all October. But here, here we are, September. Here's our high highs, and it dips off, and then it bumps back up. It's because people want fun. People play games for fun. They don't get paid to play like streamers do. And if they don't, if they can't show off cool builds, and they, they, they can't, no one cares. Right? No one cares, and that's a problem for them. Not for me, not for you, the gamers who enjoy who play to enjoy the game. It's a problem for them because it's their job to care. And so they want the weaker players are, and it makes it hard, not because of skill, because it's the game is just harder. It's more that they can do to entertain and bring guides. People care about guides because they're struggling and it makes them money, right? Revenues up. Views are up. Now, are there the 1% that just want harder games? Yes. Um, Destiny is not a hard game. And I'm going to repeat that again. Destiny is not a hard game. If you've ever played Dark Souls, a lot of people think those are hard. Dark Souls is predictable. Very predictable. And once you understand and play Dark Souls, you master the blocking and the dodging. You master the bosses. It is easy. It's an easy game. In fact, you can Dark Souls lets you have an overpowered character. You have strong powers. You are tough. You can do a lot of damage to bosses. Like if you are good, you can build something that can just wreck house. You could do high risk, high reward, right? You can do have literally glass builds. Glass builds you go in, but you can get one shot. But if you, if you act like you're a god, yes, you're going to get smacked. GMs are the same way, right? In fact, uh, the crafting is a perfect example for me, right? People, like, I did GMs. We'll watch a little video. Oh, gotta love the ad blocker. Joke's on you. I'm just going to switch to this one. Right? And then here's the thing, right? Shotgun linear is that's fantastic. Here's the thing. GMs are predictable. They're, they are easy. Yes, new ones are always hard at the beginning of a season. They're always a challenge. But once people figure, to, figure them out, they're easy. Like, there's strats. There's how to do it quickly. It doesn't matter. Making the player weaker doesn't make it funner. It doesn't make it challenging. It makes it boring. And it makes no one want to play it. GMs are easy. The end game is easy. Not because we're too strong. Though you could argue some parts we are. And that's not a bad thing. But it's because we've mastered it. That's it's 
It's like riding a bike. Some of us were great off the rip and we can get on the bike and we we're good, but some of us struggled, right? It took practice. And once we understood how to do grandmasters or do a grandmaster, we were on or we were on the bike. We were just driving around, you know, riding our bike like nothing. Same thing with 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 gyms. Once you understand the routes, you, you know, understand the optimal builds, it's a cakewalk. And it's always been that way. It has always been that way. GMs have always been a challenge at first. But once you crack the code, you have experience under your belt. It's not hard. And I'm using GMs as a, as a point of contact because they are always around every season. And it's the end game content, right? It is the premium end game content. <laughs> and people are like... People are complaining so much about us being too strong, but you have it here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what the community wants. We want to be strong. We want the power fantasy because we want fun. That's what the crafting showed. We want destiny to be fun. That's the reality. People come when it's fun. And then there's going to be those people that complain, well, the integrity of the game. They're doing this stuff. They're oh, oh, those raids. Look how easy it is for the cheese raids. <laughs> First off, I'm going to be honest with you. I honestly do not care. I have done like I've listen. I've done all dungeons solo. I don't care if you did every last raid solo flawless the week weekend of the crafting. I do not care it this it does not devalue my accomplishments my accomplishments is not based on the value of other people but there are people that believe it is because someone else got an easier so flawless and has the emblem now my emblem means nothing because now all these people have it and it's sad because literally their personality is based off an emblem, based on the little dot on their card. <laughs> you get a life. You're pathetic. I I'm telling you, it it's it's not healthy either. Like mentally, that's not healthy. If your personality and your your your, your you your accomplishment derives on feeling better at something than other people, that's sad. You you. I suggest get therapy and some some soul searching, self confidence, self appreciation, because the failures of other people should not lead to your success. I'm just saying. Like I do not care. I am overly joyed that 20k new people, actually 50k people, because again it, it dropped. Obviously the 50k was the average viewpoint for people. So around double came on the weekend. And they had fun. And I'm glad. People got to do content that they never would have usually do. In fact, I think it's such a good thing that maybe now people who never raided will feel encouraged to raid because they got to taste it, right? People got to do solo dungeons. And now maybe they'll try to do solo dungeons in the future because they've had a taste of it, that accomplishment on their own. Because no one's going to carry you through a solo flawless. You have to do it yourself. So the accomplishment is still there, right? You may have the tools, but there's still mechanics. They're still surviving, right? <laughs> you still have to be competent to do it. No one's going to do a, a carry through of a solo flawless. You did that. I did this, right? This is me. That someone else's com accomplishment has nothing to do with what I achieved. And that's what the crafting sh really shows. That there's people who are so desperate to stick and stand out that that's why they hated the crafting. And then you got the PvPers, people mad that people went solo flawless, or not solo flawless, went trials. And I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of funny. I got the flawless, flawless emblem on the crafting. I can tell you I did not deserve it. I mean, I did because I, I, I still participated. But man, I definitely, it was definitely used with cheese.
But here's the thing. I usually do go flawless every season, at least once, to get the new weapons, right? I always do. It's it's not it's not it's hard, but it's not impossible. It takes time. And sometimes you it it's a gamble. Like you pull the, the wheel and see if you can you get what you need teammate wise teammate wise. But people were upset because oh no, too many people are gonna do flawless. Uh, 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 they got the loot. Uh, 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 I can't play because everyone's using this. Uh, 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 uh. I just want to sit in the corner of my hand cannon and shotgun because it's such a good way to play a game. Uh, 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 uh. Those people are boring AF and they like they complain too much. They complained. Like seriously. Also, solo floss dungeons, with exception of GOT, I guess, really haven't been that hard for years. When there are so many legit difficult low man solo challenges in the game, it's weird to gatekeep the easy ones for no reason at all. Let people have fun, you nerds. Okay, in all seriousness, though, solo floss trumps have always had some sort of cheese glitches involved. These those emblems have always had an asterisk on them. Solo flossing is about the pride of accomplishment. Exactly. People, <laughs> people don't get it that cheese exists. And it, achieved, it also taught, we were talking about trials. It also exists for trials. Trials is the breeding ground of cheese. Like, Destiny has so many cheeses. Like, there is no such thing as integrity. Like, are we, we just watched someone do solo Riven. Okay, that, oh, that's not fair. But how many times have people actually been able to solo Riven with tit duo Titans? There have been multiple, multiple seasons where people have found some way to do it. Heck, six man people don't even do Riven legit because it's being cheesed. There is no such thing as integrity and destiny. <laughs> There's no such thing. People getting so bent out of shape because of this. It's crazy. Everyone abusing this should get perma banned. Everyone's doing it, so I'm doing it. That is some BS. You are exploiting a glitch and ruining other people's experience. Hope you get banned. And this is the thing. You're <laughs> you're ruining other people's experiences. Dude, how boring do you have to be? How boring do you have to be to not have fun? And that's what most of the community really wants, is to have fun. So all these people who want us to be weaker all these people complaining about uh legitimacy and how the game is too easy or we need to make things harder we have a lot of people that just want to feel better about themselves they don't care about the community they don't care about what's fun and that's the key thing people people want to have fun man this chart just embodies it people want to have fun destiny players just want to have fun but there's always going to be that pocket of people that gatekeep that want the game to feel bad to cater them to because they want everything to be like dark souls even though i mean dark souls is comparative to gms once you met under you have experience it's it's a joke right it's a joke like it's not hard And at the end of the day, if you're not if it's if you're not enjoying the game, go away. Play something different. I take my own advice. I literally been playing Call of Duty trying to get skins unlocked to go to Modern Warfare 3. Like I've been playing other games, right? So go play something else. But this the community wants fun. They're desperate for fun. Let us have the power fantasy. If the and I'll I'd love to do a video on PvP because that's a whole different breed. But for like PVE, like someone asked me on my video what I thought about this YouTuber Salta Greppo, and I've heard his name. He's just like in my general opinion, people like him are just self entitled, and they want everything based on what they want, and they don't really think about the variety of the wide community. This says everything you need to know about the wide community. That out of uh, every day of the, this specific weekend had double the numbers because people are having fun guns felt that usually felt bad felt good 
encounters. People got to raid or do master raids for the first time. People got to do GMs. People got to do trials. People got to do solo dungeons. It was an experience. And if anything, if Bungie takes anything about it, I hope they continue to push for a power the, and keep the power fantasy. I, I know there needs to be balance, right? There's there's too much of a power, right? There is. I'm not dumb. But people want that power. They want fun. And if you make things overly hard for no reason, just by nerfing the player, nerfing what we use and what we do, it's not fun. No one wants to be the one person elitist who whine and complain because they want to look good in front of everyone they want to look good on the camera and they want money and views and it's their job right it is their job and they want and here's the deal these people play games more than what a human being should play right they play more than what normal human beings play and they if they get they experience burnout at a faster rate than me and you and everyone else and i have over seven 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 thousand hours on destiny right so i play even more than your average probably should right and i've experienced burnout so i know they they're experiencing burnout so they they want bungie to cater the game to their burnouts and that's not how life goes like you don't go to work because you're burnout and be like okay boss you need to make things the way I want you to make things. That's not how life works. But that's how a lot of these content creators want the games to be. Right? And it's just not content creators. It's also their community and also some other tidbits of the community that have this little bubble, right? But overall, most people want to have fun. People want to have fun. That's all we want. And the numbers show it it's not just my opinion the numbers this is the crafting the numbers show it look at this the numbers show it man the numbers show it you see the the big the start of the start of the season and then crota and then it just don't, goes all the way down and then we shoot straight up the crafting showed us ladies and gentlemen, that people want to feel strong. They want to feel powerful. They want their guns to feel good. They want kooky, wacky combinations. They want to do things that they normally couldn't do. They want to have fun. And is that bad? Yes. Does it? Did crafting and cater to some more casuals? Sure, it did. But also cater to people like me, who's not casual. And I've had, I ha I did 40 clears of a Grandmaster, and I had a blast. Normally, I farm whatever I need, and I quit, and I get my seal, and then I never touch a GM for the rest of the season, because I'm a normal player. I'm not doing GM runs for money. And yes, content creators do GM runs for money, whether they're doing carries where they're indirectly getting paid or they're just doing GM runs and people are watching them as they do clear it because they want to clear it so they're getting a guide from watching them. So they're also getting paid for that guide. And that's the reality. Like, let's not try to make it something that it's not. People watch people for a reason because they can't do it or they want to know how to do it. They want to know how to beat this thing. And then they go out and do it. But guess what? Were a lot of people watching streams or YouTube videos? Probably YouTube videos, but not streams. Probably not, because most people were in-game actually playing. That or they had a second monitor or their phone up and they're watching while playing, right? But people want fun. And I think that's the big thing with Destiny. You, We need more. We need to keep the, the feeling of power and fantasy. Because that's what we want. That's what the community has showed us through the crafting. We come together. We had kooky designs. We had kooky everything. But then you have people that just... I don't know why they play Destiny. It's not for fun. 
I guess it's just to make them feel good about themselves. Make them feel better about their life. I don't know. If it's not, if they're not content creators and they're not, their livelihood doesn't depend on that. And I don't know. And they're not there for fun. Like, I don't know. Like, those are the two options here. I don't understand why people are so ad adverse to fun. Because that's what people want. They want fun. I'm interested in your opinion, right? There's going to be a lot of people that are salty and upset and like, oh, the game's too casual. You're wrong. No, I'm not. Numbers. I have numbers. The numbers aren't wrong. You're wrong because you're upset. But somewhere deep inside, you're wrong. But numbers say everything. Like, this is literally people. And this is what, what's funny. This is just Steam. This is not Xbox or PlayStation. I would be very curious to see numbers. In fact, I'm going to do a cut. And if I can find it, I will. All right. I couldn't find any numbers from Xbox. I think th this Steam one is probably the clearest number count. Like, look at it. Like, the game... This is all that people people want 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 to see is people having fun. So I thank you guys again. I would like to hear your comments and your opinions down below. I will I I, I appreciate even the morons that comment down below because one, you're giving me views and give me traction, which usually it's a, they're always bangers, right? They always give me a lot of views. So thank you. You're wasting your time putting your words in the comment section below uh, when you're. Uh, uh, with your Colin Paul finally. Yes. <laughs> yes, Bungie. Can't do any wrong sector balls. <laughs> uh, but yes. <laughs> I, I will have to say the crafting was a fantastic experience. It was fun. It was kooky. It was... It was so... It was fun. It, the power fantasy, guys. The power fan. This. This is the power fantasy that the community wants. They want the kooky. They want the craziness. And yes, I understand a lot of this was overly broken, but we can, we need to have moments of power, right? Like, and I'm talking about real power. I'm not talking about going and using, killing a level one thrall, right? I'm talking about doing crazy crap like this and just absolutely feeling good. It almost makes me wish we had a crafting mode where Bungie lets us do, like you're thrown into random raids and encounters and you're just like, you have broken guns. You just absolutely have broken guns like this and you can just have fun. Like kind of like mayhem, but instead it's mayhem for PVE. <laughs> so good. Such, it, so fun. Come on. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, I do appreciate the, the, the conversations we have. And don't forget to like and comment, subscribe. Uh, we were at 400 subscribers and then someone left and now we're at 399 and it really bothers me so we can crack those those numbers up to four like over 400 so that way i can do a 400 video like thank you video it'd be really awkward to say thank you for 400 and it drop down yeah yeah the crafting rest in peace we'll probably never experience that in any game i don't think unless someone does it intentionally but i do appreciate you guys I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor. Until next time, don't forget to be the best version of yourself and uh, game out.